Okay, we're in the um, still in the consolidation phase, which is phase three of affecting a DNA change. And we were talking about the devices of the enemy which must be purged. Purging is a vital part of making evangelism central in your church. Well, this is how the dictionary defines purge. It's to make free of something unwanted. Uh, for example, to purge a manhole of gas or to purge yourself of fear. Purging is eliminating wrong thinking from our minds about evangelism, the gospel, the mission of the church, and a host of related topics. Because we know that as a man thinks, says Proverbs, so he is. So if you want to change the behavior of everyone in your church, we've got to change the way they think. That's the bottom line. This is where the small group evangelism DVD series kicks in, and then you can see a little picture of it there. These resources are designed to purge your church of these devices. There's my book as well, so you, you need to get that book. So those are the two, two um, resources that, you, that really um, are going to help you do the purging. In the DVD series, there's 19 studies. They range from 15 to 45 minutes in length. Um, they also come with a study guide. Um, and there's a leader's guide that goes uh, with them as well. There's also a little booklet called Essential Truth, which is which is ten dollars, and my book I think is is forty dollars US. Okay, so everybody in the group needs those, which will be thirty eight dollars per person, and um, the leader will need those two: the leader's study guide and the DVD series. Of course, for churches that are buying these in bulk, there's obviously huge discounts if you're going to buy them in any sort of quantity for your churches. As you work through the DVD series, one study per week, there is an inspirational daily reading for each day. We put this together. These are the um, This is a collection of the writings of spiritual giants in history and what they had to say about evangelism, missions, the Great Commission, etc. The contributors include Hudson Taylor, William Carey, John Stott, Spurgeon, Whitfield, Moody, Tozer, Carson, Packer, Martin Luther, Charles Finney, and many, many other great Christians. These readings, which all focus on evangelism, are designed to inspire, to encourage, to motivate, to lift you up, to help you uh, come to a better understanding of the theology of evangelism, to broaden your knowledge of the history of evangelism, to lead you into unity with Jesus and his mission. So they're a fantastic set of readings. They're $35. All right. So... Um, after you've done your purging, what we're going to do is we're going to put in place structures and strategies to build a culture of evangelism and affect a DNA change. So um, we need to, to look at some of the structures and strategies that we're actually going to use. The year plan includes these strategies. So we've, um, we're going to do our evangelism DVD series here. We, we're just previewing it at the stage. Notice that your EPP will set up a library of resources. If your people are going to evangelize the world, they need to have the tools and resources to do the job. So that needs to be done. There it is in the first four weeks of the year, whatever time in the year you start doing this. Here's another strategy, Great Commission Surveys. You can see that there. They're the green ones on the on the year map, G GCS, great, standing for Great Commission Survey, and you do those every fortnight. Well, what's a great? This is a strategy applied on Sunday mornings in the church service. Let me show you how it works. Exactly what is a Great Commission survey? Every Sunday morning, people entering the church will find a piece of paper like this in their church newsletter. It'll just have proclaim the gospel on one side, spread the gospel on the other. People enter their evangelism activity for the previous week. For example, they might put a zero in there, and they might have given out three little cars to somebody there, or whatever. So there's they put three in that in that box. The survey is completely anonymous. The papers are collected with the offering. They are quickly tallied out the back of the church. Before the end of the church service, the totals are announced by the pastor, especially the number of pieces of paper handed in. Why do we want to know that? We want to know how many people are active in the church as a percentage of the total number of people in the church. You could have graphs showing weekly, monthly, annual trends. Following the announcement, with one uh, follow, follow the announcement with a one minute testimony of someone's experience in evangelism in the past week you could do that so in this particular church the members spread the gospel to 49 people and 18 people in that town had the gospel proclaimed to them wow what a great stat 
If that's the mission of the church, to evangelize the world, we need to know how we're going with that. With this one simple strategy, you're keeping Jesus and his mission in their rightful place in church life central. There will be accountability. Your church will bring in great glory to Jesus, and ultimately that's what it's all about. Here are a few more strategies and structures. We're still in the consolidation phase. The following is a fantastic strategy which has huge potential to see people saved and assimilated into your church. The core of this strategy is the website bible11.org forward slash your church name. Now at the moment if you went onto that website with exactly what you see there you wouldn't get anything because the um, the name after the forward slash has to be your church name or some, something you want to call it. Uh, you could call it whatever you like. So there's an example of one down below. I think that one is live, but just make sure it's all in small letters. It stands for, SA stands for Salvation Army Botany. So that's a that's a suburb in Auckland of New Zealand. So just dial that uh, um, web address and you'll see a sample website down there. Okay, to view a sample church website, please go to that, that um, web address you can see down below. How does it work? Firstly, your church will print some business cards with the following on each side. On one side will be the name of your church, your logo, and anything else you want to include like that. Um, on the reverse side will be the words, yep, the whole Bible summarized in 11 minutes. At the bottom, there will be a unique web address which links directly to your church. So it'll look like a website that's dedicated to your church and nobody else. So see, see after the forward slash is the name of your church. You tell us what wording you want after the forward slash in the web address. It's completely up to you, and we'll just um, uh, enter that in for you, and that will be your web address for these cards. We register this for you. This web address then becomes unique to your church, like I've just said. These cards are then given out to all the members of your church. They will in turn give them to non-Christians, friends, family, workmates, etc. So there's somebody doing that. What do non-Christians see when they visit www.org St. Andrews in this case? Well, the first thing they see is an 11-minute presentation of the gospel, which you can see at bible11.com. At the end of the gospel presentation, a TV presenter appears with a short message appealing to site visitors to connect with someone from St. Andrews Presbyterian Church. The presenter is Howard Dobson of TV3 Sports Tonight Show. Now, this is just a sample because... There's Howard Dobson, a real handsome looking dude. That He's a lovely guy. But uh, ideally, you would have your pastor or somebody in your church who would actually do this intro. So this is an example of an intro. This won't be the intro, for, because for your church, you want to have one of your church staff doing the actual intro. So the following slideshow shows what Howard says at the end of the gospel presentation. So let me just get my mouse over this and get this going. This is what Howard actually said. Hi, I'm Howard Dobson from TV3 Sports Tonight Show. Thank you for taking the time to watch the summary of the Bible. Now, when anyone watches this video, I always ask them this question at the end. If everything you've just seen is true, and if you died tonight, where would you go? Of all the questions we ask in life, this is without doubt the most important. If you found out that you're not going to heaven when you die or you're not sure, please don't stop here. Find someone who can help you take the next steps on your journey. There are some awesome churches in your area where you live, led by friendly down-to-earth people. They're like coaches or trainers because they've been doing it for a while. They can answer those questions, provide encouragement, a helping hand, and maybe even a little guidance. You can check them out right now. Please take a moment or two to watch these short videos of each one as they introduce themselves to you. Then contact one of them and introduce yourself and go from there. We'll show you how you can find complete forgiveness, the abundant life Jesus offered, and a real and living relationship with Jesus. Hey, I'll see you in heaven. Okay, that's the presentation. And uh, that will come at the end of the gospel presentation. Now, actually, we ex we really wanted to have um, your pastor or whoever is going to do an intro before the gospel presentation and then something after the gospel presentation so that the gospel presentation is actually sandwiched in between two appearances of one of your staff members. And then they go through to this page, which is um, all the people in your church who are making themselves available as, as contact people for people who come on the site. Website visitors are automatically taken through to another page. 
The page has 30 second videos of people in your church. These people are volunteering to make themselves available to connect with non-Christians who visit the site. Um, that's what it actually looks like. The site does look like when it's going. So there's just one of the people. And you notice the arrows. I just use my mouse here. There's an arrow there, which is the back arrow. And there's a forward arrow here, which is forward. So you can just click through all the people. Um, please notice some things about the Connect videos. This is the name of the person in your church. Uh, this is the name of your church because some people might want to drive by and have a look at it. This is the address of your church. The site visitor is asked to fill out a quick form which is automatically sent through to John Doe. It's up to John Doe to contact the visitor. In this way John is in control. His contact details are confidential. The site is therefore safe. So John doesn't give out his contact details. The site visitor fills in the details and they're emailed automatically through to John. How do volunteers in your church list themselves on this website? Well, you go to that web address, bible11.org forward slash list yourself. And uh, when the site opens, please fill in the online form. So there's the online form just to list yourself as one of the people in your church who wants to be available to connect. Uh, we'll just require your name, your email, your church name, your church web address, um, and the, the address of your YouTube video will go in there and then your pastor's permission. So nobody's allowed on the site without being uh, approved by their pastor. All the volunteers need to do is shoot their video, upload it onto YouTube, and then copy the website address of your video which is in there on YouTube, and then paste it into the YouTube video address field in the List Yourself web form which goes right there. So it's very simple how to do, to do this. Um, What's the first step in registering your church and yourself on this website? Well, again, visit um, that web address, refer to the video guide, and the video guide is right there, tells you how to make a great video. Shoot the video, like I've said, upload it to YouTube, click the share button, and copy the web address side of your video, and then, then paste your web address into the YouTube video address field on your List Yourself web form, which is right there. So just put it to there. Fill out all the other details and you're done. We then will send you your unique web address. In this case, it's St Andrews. Have a few thousand cards printed. We can print them for you. You can print them, print your own. And then start recruiting. Start recruiting people in your church to start giving out cards, shoot their own video, and make themselves available to be a connection point for non-Christians who visit your website. It's pretty cool. Email the link to this video to everyone in your church so that they fully understand what the strategy is all about and then they can join in. There's going to be great forward momentum as everybody joins in for the purpose of fulfilling the Great Commission. It's just awesome. So in the next video, I'm going to show you a few more strategies and structures. So hang fine. I'll get to that next video.